In the years 1609-1610, there was a settlement named James with a strong leader known as John Smith. He led the settlers, hoping for a peaceful and successful settlement, but little did he know that the settlers were not experienced in farming nor hardworking. Because of the shortage in food and lack of labor, he created the law that whoever didn't work couldn't eat. John Smith was burned badly and had to go back to England, leaving Jamestown without a leader. Without any order, food, and sickness spread it, the settlers had to result to eating snakes, rats, dogs, toadstools, and horse hide just to survive the harsh winters. Some settlers began reverting to cannibalism, digging up the corpses from graves and eating them. Luckily, Sir Thomas Gates still had faith in Jamestown and arrived there just in time to save the town, but can they make it through another year without any knowledge on how to survive? A long, long, long time ago, in a small colony, kind of far away from here, a little town called Jamestown starts producing enough food crops to survive. Now the only problem is how to make more muda. Tobacco, the new European habit, is the popular choice of the European. Nicotanus rustica, the tobacco native to the area, but the colony drew a short straw hat. No one liked this Nicotanus rustica, and no money could be made by it. In 1610, a soon-to-be hero, John Rolfe, possible Jedi Knight, arrives in Jamestown. Have no fear, I is here. He be begins his diabolical research of curing. God, this backy is still bitter. Black. Four years after his arrival at the fort, yes, Jamestown is a fort, Johnny Boy finds his cure. His new curing method makes the tobacco taste yummy, but Spanish tobacco is still better. Yes, this is some good backy. John ships 2,600 pounds of tobacco back to Europe, saving the town of Jamestown. Attacking the church, accusing the church of corruption, one man standing up for his beliefs wrote the 95 Thesis, a document that changed the church and spreading new ideas across Western Europe rapidly and started the Protestant Reformation of 1517. When the unity began to break apart, one man was to blame. This one man was Martin Luther. After attacking the church and accusing it of corruption, he was banned from the Catholic Church. This attack on the Catholic Church marked the beginning of the Protestant Reformation. Lutheran's corruption, the Bible, not the Pope, is central means to describe God's word. Justification is granted by faith. Alone, God's works and sacraments are not necessary in order to save. end. Fifteen eighty two, in the year Walter Raleigh was sent to Roanoke with only ninety one men, seventeen women, and nine children. Roanoke's governor, John White, went back to England for supplies. He doesn't come back until fifteen ninety because of a war that broke out between England and Spain. When he comes back, no one was there. The only clue he had was C R O written on a pole. White searches for months and doesn't find anything until one one day he sees one of the women who had came over with Raleigh. She was about to give a 
uh, give birth and was dying. Shortly before she dies, the given birth to a, a beautiful baby girl. Her name was Virginia Dare. Well, White soon finds out what Crow meant. In the time period of 1585 to 1590, an un unlikely settlement trying to start has hardships and end with the mysterious disappearance of the colony of Roanoke. Now that we have built the settlement, I'm going to get more supplies. I'll be back soon. I saw a Native American camp about two miles down the island. We might find supplies there for our camp until John gets back. Kicking Bird, the Indian leader, tells settlers this is disrespectful to our tribe. If you don't leave peacefully, we will attack and kill you. The battle rages on for many days. As the battle ends, one Native American named Stan runs with horses, finds many strange objects that look like they are of some value. When he touched one, a bright light came from outside. Runs with horses, ran outside, and saw Kicking Bird flying up into the sky towards the bright light. A few years later, John White returns. He returned later because of the battle in England, and is surprised and startled that everything and everyone is gone. And, they, and the only evidence of what happened is the R.O. into a tree, and that's how it was mystery. In 1585, a colony called Roanoke was founded shortly after their leader John White left the colony all on their own. And shortly after that, they all ran out of food, and then they began starving. But the Indians had plenty of food, and the colony was planning on making an attack on the Indians and trying to steal. The Indians found out that they had been stealing food for a while, and they planned to attack. All the colonists tried to back but the Indians overpowered, overpowered The Indians took over the colony and killed all the colonists. They, when they killed them, they burned all the bodies and threw all the ashes in the ocean, and they left no traces behind. Shortly after that, John White came back, and, the, and he saw nothing. Everybody was gone. Even to this day, there are still no traces of the lost colony of Roanoke. This movie is not yet rated. In theaters, August 29th. The year is 1609. Chief Powhatan decides to help the English settlers and Captain John Smith. There isn't enough food, so the settlers decide to raid the Indians. But the Indians fight back, killing a lot of the settlers. There are about 60 settlers left to fight, but the fighting stops when Pocahontas gets captured. Since she is Chief Powhatan's daughter, he has his Indians stop fighting the settlers. Also, the Indians teach the settlers how to live off the land and grow food.